Hello, this is Sam out here, and welcome back to another Power Rangers Dino Charger review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Dino Charger Power Packs Wave 1. Now, before we begin, I want to take a look at the nice packaging because I'm impressed. The Ranger Key Packs had a plastic on top of uh, cardboard that was glued down partially, and that also led to, you know, packs being ripped open because they weren't secured well enough. These are nicely secured, it's got a nice bubble. On a nice card back, and it's really collector friendly because you just slice all the tape, and that comes off, which is pretty nice. Um, which is why I was able to repackage these for the review, um, as I forgot to do the packaging before I opened them. I was just too excited. Now these power packs each come with two dino chargers and a mini dino zord. Does not come with three. They have a little placeholder cardboard piece in there. It's not a third charger. So you get two chargers. You can actually try it out in the box. So that's pretty sweet. You got Dino Charge Red Ranger here, Dino Charger Power Pack Series 1. Now, the packaging is basically the same as the plastic insert in the middle that's different. You see, collect them all, and this shows off the first two waves of Power Packs. Um, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 here, and then 14, 17, 18, 19, and 20 packs will be added at a later date. And it also says more, dino, more chargers coming soon, which is good to note because ones for later Rangers will, of course, not be shown yet. Four ways to play, which is app, morpher, zord, mini zord. And it comes unlock different sounds and deluxe dino charge morpher. Um, so that's super cool. Bandai.com slash Power Rangers is now live for dino charge. So really cool. I kind of like the semi-egg shape because you got a little dino inside. And you can see the packaging for the Parazord here. The Stego. The Raptor. And the Triceratops. They're relatively the same package for each, but they are super cool. Now I did find these at a Target uh, in New Mexico for $8.99, which is really cool. So without further ado, let's start with the T-Rex pack. So we'll start with taking a look at pack one, the T-Rex Charger pack. And this is featuring the T-Rex Zord along with the T-Rex Charger and the Dino Hypnotized Charger in its fossilized version. So, take a look at the chargers themselves as we move a little dinosaur out of the way. First up, we have number one, the T-Rex charger. Now, this is a regular version, very similar to the one that comes with the Dino Charge Morpher. Um, and it is very different from the one that comes with the Dino Charge Megazord, is that one that, if you remember, was clear. Also, the size of the picture is actually different. It's smaller on this one. Well, on this one, it's quite larger. I actually like the larger size. It's on the uh, power pack battery as opposed to the one that came with the Megazord. So there is subtle differences between the releases, which is really nice when you end up getting duplicates if you're trying to be show accurate. Um, but yeah, like I already kind of showed, the four sided picture is the same. But yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex, T Rex Charger, super cool. And the other charger we have is the Dino Hypnotized Charger. And this is um, actually not been released before. And there will be a regular version of this. This is a fossilized version. These are super cool. I'm super excited about the fossilized versions. Because you can see it has a fossilized ammonite. Because, of course, ammonite. And you click the button here. And then it turns into the actual uh, Garumonite design from Kiryuger which is the fancier, look, better looking, uh, more live kind of thing. So it's got this four-sided animation that powers it up from a fossil into a living creature and then powers it back to a fossil. It's really cool uh, because it is completely different than the uh, regular version. So it does give you reason to have the fossilized versions hanging around. So each pack comes with a fossilized battery and then a uh, regular one, and that's super cool. I'm really excited about that. So we focus our attention back to the T-Rex Zord. This little T-Rex Zord is kind of cute. He's a little bit of a chibi Tyrannosaurus Rex. He is designed based on the Zord. He has three paint apps. They paint it in his eyes and has a little hair up here. Um, but other than that, he's just a static figure. Just kind of sits on your desk if you want. He is a rubbery plastic. Like This is solid rubber plastic. It connects between these uh, four tabs here and the four slots here. It just connects nice and tight, like that, and he just looks a little bit adorable. I think these painted up would look really nice, but the way they look is simple but effective. 
I mean, for nine bucks, you're getting, you know, two charges as is, plus this included, which is really nice. And honestly, I, I kind of like this the most out of the batteries, uh, over the batteries, I mean, because he's just, he's a little, little Pterosaurus. He is a, a PVC plastic, but it's like very dense. Um, you can also split him in half, and you can take his charger, charge it up. You can plug one side in here, just wedge it in there, and the other side in here. And now you've got a powered up miniature uh, T-Rex sword. And then that front part sometimes doesn't stay on if you don't squeeze it in hard enough. There you go. So you do have this function. This is like the main uh, compatibility with the chargers is that it does this. Which is why the main charger of the set has a matching Zord. Which, I don't think the gimmick is that great. It kind of makes him look a little weird because he's like super thin in the middle. I actually like it when it's just attached together. But it does give it a nice play feature in addition to having uh, chargers that work in the Megazords and in the Morpher and uh, in the app. So, outside of that, I don't feel like I'm going to do displaying like this. But because of this, we do get other Zords. In fact, we get almost... I think a Zord for each battery, which is super duper cool, because not even Japan pulled that off. But yeah, that's the T-Rex Charger Pack. So here we have the Parazord Pack. Now from here on out, we're going to move a little quicker, as we've kind of already covered basically what each set does, but they do it in different dinosaur ways. So moving him aside, look at the two chargers. The first one we have is the Paracharger, and this will look very familiar... To those of you who watched my Parazord review, that is because it is nearly identical to the one that came with the Parazord. There's just one big difference. The picture here is kind of tiny. It's gigantic here. It looks gigantic, but when you compare it to the show, it's actually properly proportioned. So, from what I can gather, the Dino Chargers that come in the Power Packs are actually more show accurate than the ones that come in other things. But if you click the button here, it has the four-step animation. And you can actually see that it is a Parasarlophus. Um, and really, most people call it a Parasaur. That, that's its official name. It's a long name. But yes, that is the Paracharger. Moving along to something brand new, we have the Dino Armor X Charger. Now in Junes and Dakiryuja, this activated a power upgrade. Probably going to do the same based on the name Dino Armor X. And this is based on a Dino Sushus. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that properly, and I apologize. It is orange. As you can see, it's the fossilized version, which means it turns into dinosaur. Turns out of a dinosaur. So it is dead, comes alive, and it dies again. So that's super cool. It's a neat way of doing the charging up thing uh, with the fossilized versions. And I wonder if these actually will come into play in this series. It'd be really cool if they did. Um, as if they find them, they're fossilized, but they have to power them up. And then they're good to go to become the regular ones. So, super cool. Now, the last thing in the set, of course, is our little Parazord. And the Parazord here is just kind of adorable, because he's a tiny little Parazord. Um, as you can see, he's got the gun tail, he's got his head, his eyes, and his, his beak are painted, that's, that's about it. You get about, you know, his, their eyes, and one other detail is painted on each of these. Anyways, he's literally cute, I like him. He's, he's just a chibi, chibi parasaurus, so you split him up here. As you can see, he's got the slot for the battery, so let's put the dyno charger in here. So plug it in there, and in there. Now you got a really long parasaur. And the Dino Armor X charger can just kind of chill out next to him. So yeah, the gimmick's the same, but I do like how it does have functionality. Um, so, pretty cool. Alright, here we have pack three with the Stegazord. And the thing is, is that we are now to the point where we have a battery that we have not seen before. So moving Stegazord out of the way, moving this out of the way, we have the Stego Charger, which was not included with the Dino Charge Megazord, nor in any other product so far. This is a brand new set, and it's one of the best values, uh, is this set here. So as you can see, we have this nice blue number three charger, Stegosaurus. So just for the is the Stego Charger. And if you see here, the animation. 
So there is no show inaccurate version, as I'm going to call them for the ones with the tiny pictures for this. This is a fully accurate number three Stego charger, and this is the first time it has been available anywhere. And that's super cool, because this makes this pack, like, a whole lot more worth it than the other packs, the other two packs so far. You also do get the Styracosaurus Dino Cupid Charger. So you can see number 14 here, Styracosaurus. Fossilized version, so we got the fossil, the bones. Powers up, powers down. Super cool. So yeah, the fossil batteries are not necessary for your collection unless they actually do appear in the show. But they are neat little additions. Speaking of neat little additions, here's a little Stegazord. He, he's tiny. He's like a little little smaller than the others. Because uh, that's fortunately how the Zords work. As you can see, he does have his eyes painted and his uh, little fin up here. But he is a little, a little nice looking. Um, I like the way this guy looks. He, he's he's kind of tiny, so he, he holds in your hand a little bit better. You can split him in half here. Power up the Stego charger. Um, let me click all the way. Plug it in here and here. And now you've got a really long Stegosaurus. Which, honestly, for this one doesn't look too bad. And I think it's because he doesn't have, like, legs under him. Um, it actually looks a bit better proportioned. So, there we go. That's the Stega pack. So, we went from a pack that was completely new to a pack that's got something we've seen already. And that is the Raptor pack. So, as usual, we'll start with the Chargers. First charger we have, of course, is the Raptor Charger. Now this one here, if we can focus on it, is just like the Paracharger having a larger image than its Zord counterpart. Same with the Raptor Charger. Other than that, the details are approximately the same. You know, it says Velociraptor. Actually, an ironic twist, it says it larger here, but smaller here. But then the picture's smaller here and larger here. So if you wanted to swap the outer casing somehow, you could do that. Um, but as you can see, we have the Paracharger. It's got the larger image. I like the larger image. You can actually see it. Really nice. Then we have the Fossilized Dino Laugh Charger, which is an Iguanodon. You can see Iguanodon. Interesting pinkish color. You get 18. When you get to the Fossilized version, powering up, powering down. Really, really cool. And lastly, we do have our little Raptor Zord, who is just awesome. His eyes are painted and his tail parts are painted, the outer uh, slicing tails. And as you can see, he is pretty neat. Um, I do like him. He is, he, he's a good looking Zord. Split him up here, take his charger, power it up, plug it in here, like that. And it sometimes doesn't want to go in. And you plug it on there. And just like the T Rex and the Para, it does look a little awkward because he's just kind of jutting out from where his legs are. It's a little weird, but, you know, it functions. And our final pack of Wave 1 is the Tricera pack. And this is pack 5, and this is another all-new pack. So let's move the Triceratops out of the way. First up, we have the Tricera Charger, which is nice and pink. Number 5, Triceratops. Brand new because we haven't seen this in the Megazord. So you can see the animation, charging up, charging down, charging up, charging down. Really, really cool. And lastly, we have the Dino Stretch Charger, which is a Diplodocus, which was known as Beyond Sumo in Japan, which I'm trying to figure out why. Um, anyways, number 16, fossilized version, powers up, powers down, powers up, powers down. Too powered up. Ah. Yeah. Anyways, and then here we have our nice bright pink Triceratops. Bandai did not make these things purple, and I am so happy about that. But as you can see, she got her horns painted and her eyes painted. Looks really nice. I like. I like. I like the Triceratops. It's it's small like the Stegosaurus, which is really neat. And just like with the others, you can power up the battery, plug it in here, plug it in there, takes a little bit of force on this one, and now you got a really long Triceratops, and a Dino Stretch Charger just chilling out on the side, super cool, 
Now, before we move on to anything else, I wanted to show a comparison between the American and Japanese batteries. So the Dyna Chargers versus the Jujenshi. Now, the thing you should notice here is that the Para and the Raptor Chargers here are the ones from the packs. They are proportionately sized images to the Japanese equivalents. So you can kind of get an idea how they are smaller, but they still look really good. I mean, the accuracy is pretty nice. Like, the Japanese ones have these nice foil backgrounds on the stickers, but heck, the American ones don't, but that's not really a problem. They have four sides of animation, the Japanese ones only have two. So, you can take your pick, but this gives you a rough idea. Alright, so while I don't own the Morpher, unfortunately, uh, I have not been able to pick one up yet. I do own the Zords, as you can see, and I have reviewed them before. So I want to put their batteries in the right place. Um, so first of all, we'll take the T-Rex charger we just got, which was a nice show accurate version. Plug that in there. All right. I'm going to take our para charger that's now show accurate. Plug it into the para zord here. Like that. And we'll take the stego charger, which has never been used before in this zord. We'll plug them in like that. And we'll take the Tricera charger, put it here, like this, and we'll take the Raptor charger and plug it in here, like that. So now they all have their show accurate batteries, and that's super cool. Plus, for fun, here they are with their baby counterparts. Make a dinosaur baby joke, but that song is copyrighted. Well, Muppet Babies is, but you know. As you can see, they look very nice together. So yeah, the Dino Charger Power Packs, how are they as a whole? So overall, the Dino Charger Power Packs Wave 1 are really solid. For $9, you're getting a substantially, you know, it's a miniature Zord, sure, but it's a nice looking Zord. It's very sturdy. You're getting two Dino Chargers, which work in your more for your Zords, your mini Zords, and the app. That's, you know, free. You get a lot of functionality out of these. Now, even if you don't have the Morpher, but just want, like, a representation of the Zords, and not necessarily want to buy the full, like, gigantic Deluxe Zords. If you just want the Zords on your desk, maybe. If you're not a hardcore collector, don't want to buy the fully transformed Mega Zords, you just want, you know, a set of dinosaurs for your desk. These are perfect for that. And also, they're great for getting the batteries. You're getting more than just like the ranger key packs were just three ranger keys in a pack oh, that's pretty much it if it wasn't rangers of the past i don't think it would have been as excited these batteries i don't think would have been as cool if it was just two batteries for like six or five 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 six bucks but for two batteries and a dinosaur for nine i'm sold because the dinosaurs are just cool and the thing is, is it comes down to which packs do you need to buy if you're a Zord collector and want to make your show accurate Zords. Well, you'll need to buy all five of these. Now, if you want to ignore the size of the images on the Raptor and Parazords, you can easily skip those two packs. But if you want a non-translucent uh, T-Rex charger, you want to get the T-Rex Zord. Now, there's a coupon uh, available through the Dino Charge app that lets you get these packs for buy two, get the third free. And that's what I did in order to get a pack for free. I mean... It's a good deal if you are buying more than one Dino Charger pack. And if you're wanting to get just show accurate, you know, non-translucent batteries for your Zords, get the Stegosaurus, get the Triceratops, get the T-Rex. That is a simple solution. Now there are more Dino Charger packs coming out and I will review them once I find them. And I'm more excited for those because those will feature the other dinosaurs that did not get fully realized bodies in the Japanese version of Power Rangers Dinosaurs known as Juden Sentai Kira Yuji. So stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for more Dino Charge reviews once I come across uh, the 5-inch figure 6-pack, because I'm not missing out on the Dino Spike weapon. And when I find more Zords or Dino Chargers, you can definitely be sure to see a review here on this channel. I'm super excited for Dino Charge, and I hope you all are too. So anyways, be sure to check out HeroTaka.com for all your Power Rangers Dino Charge news. Until next time, sound saying, goodbye.